أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله The Kenya Judiciary will host the third regional symposium on greening judiciaries in Africa on 3rd to 5th April 2023 to discuss the role of judiciaries in mitigating climate change and promoting environmental conservation. The symposium, whose theme is strengthening the role of judiciaries in addressing climate change in Africa, will incorporate the 3rd Chief Justice's Forum on Environmental Law and the 3rd General Conference of the Africa Judicial Education Network on Environmental Law. Ajanel. The over 300 delegates include 26 chief justices, heads of judicial education institutions, judges, judicial officers, experts and stakeholders drawn from the African continent and beyond. The symposium will empower and sensitize judiciaries to play their role in delivering green justice that promotes sustainable development and protects the planet. Making Kenya the regional hub of judicial and social justice dialogues. For more details, visit www.greenjustice.africa. I want to welcome all of us to the 12th edition of the Connected Summit 2023. This is one of the biggest networking events in the country, and we welcome all the people in the industry and other stakeholders to come and join us in this event. We're going to be discussing a broad uh, array of issues, but in addition to the serious work, we are also going to have a lot of fun in Diani, starting with golf and a lot of uh, beach activities. Masalheri mpenzi mtazamaji hujambo pale ulipo jioni hii ya leo Jumapili hii ya leo ikiwa ni ya tarehe mbili ama ikiwa ndio Jumapili ya kwanza inayoingia uh, ya mwezi wa Aprili mwaka huu 2023. Karibu mtazamaji hizi ni taarifa za rubini weekend tumekuandalia mengi kutoka siasa na mengine mengi zaidi lakini kama ilivyo ada tupate aliomu. Rais William Ruto atoa wito kwa upinzani kufutilia mbali maandamano huku viongozi wa dini wakihimiza mazungumzo. Vyama vya waandishi wa habari vya shutumu mashambulizi dhidi ya wanahabari vikitaka hatua kuchukuliwa dhidi ya wahusika. Na Wakristo waadhimisha Jumapili ya mitende jumbe za amani na maridhiano zikisheheni. Na mtazamaji karibu tena na shukran kwa kuchagua taarifa zetu za darubini wikendi. Mimi ni kamchemenza wa ishara ni Byron Abuli. Na moja kwa moja kwa taarifa ambayo tumeipatia kipombele siku hii ya leo ni kuhusu hotuba uh, kwa taifa yake Rais William Ruto ambapo ametoa wito kwa uongozi ama viongozi wa muungano wa upinzani uh, kusitisha maandamano dhidi ya serikali ambayo yamekuwa akifanyika na vile vile inapangiwa kufanyika hapo kesho. Mtazamaji tupate kauli yake Rais. I have always been ready to engage Kenyans of all walks of life, including elected and appointed leaders from across the political divide and the religious fraternity on how to make our country better and prosperous. My door still remains open for honest, objective and sincere deliberations based on the rule of law and the constitution. 
And therefore, in these circumstances, and in view of the recent events that led to loss of life and destruction of property in the demonstrations that have occasioned in our country for the last uh, two weeks, I urge my brother Raila Odinga and the opposition to call off the demonstrations. na mtazamaji tusalie kwenye muktadha huo huo wa maandamano ambapo maskofu wa kanisa la katoliki wametoa wito kwa kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Odinga kusitisha maandamano dhidi ya serikali yaliyopangiwa kufanyika hapo kesho uh, mwenyekiti wa baraza la maskofu wa kanisa Martin Kivuva uh, badala yake ametoa wito wa mazungumzo baina ya rais William Ruto na upinzani akisema maandamano hayo yanasababisha uharibifu Waumini wa kanisa la Katoliki mjini Mombasa waliadhimisha Jumapili ya mitende kwa kutembea kutoka kwa mzunguko barabara ya Makupa hadi katika kanisa la Katoliki la St Joseph Chuda. Akiongea nje ya kanisa hilo kabla ya misa, mwenyekiti wa baraza hilo askofu Martin Kivuva alitoa wito kwa Rais William Ruto na kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Odinga kufanya mazungumzo. Let us pray for our leaders in the nation both opposition and government to speedily embark on constructive inclusive dialogue to address the challenges facing our nation the azmio leadership to consider cancelling their demonstrations during this holy week and all the time so that we can embrace dialogue we also ask for the suspension of uh, celebrative gatherings and prayer meetings organized by government and political leaders with the political nonces witnessed in such gatherings and prayer meetings. Either Kivuva liwaonya waandamanaji na vitengo mbalimbali vya usalama kujiepusha na ghasia na matumizi ya nguvu kupita kiasi. We appeal to the security operatives, the police and others to avoid excessive use of force during peaceful demonstration if any. And the uh, demonstrators on their part to exercise the right without provoking the police. Maoni yake alikadiriwa na askofu mkuu wa kanisa la Kianglikana hapa nchini Jackson Ole Sapit akiongoza misa ya Jumapili ya mitende katika kanisa la All Saints jijini Nairobi. Sapit alitoa wito kwa pande zote mbili kudumisha amani. I'm calling upon the organizers of demonstration in this country to call it off as at least for this week, the holy week for us to be have a break. But even for posterity, let us learn how to solve our issues, not in demonstration and not in use of excessive force. Kwekineko, akiongea katika kanisa la House of Grace jijini Nairobi, mkewe naibu rais Dorcas Rigathi, alitaja mandamano hayo kuwa tishio kwa usalama wa nchi. I come here to speak for those boys who are out there. The ones who are being abused and those ones who are taking that tear gas, the ones who are killed, those are my boy children. I've been wanting to turn around, to rehabilitate and cause and to validate their dreams. You and I must validate the dreams of those children. Abdulaziz Abeid, Darubini, Weekend. Na viongozi wa upinzani wanataka kuwe na umoja miongoni mwa Wakenya ili kuzuia marudio ya machafuko jinsi ilivyoshuhudiwa wakati wa ghasia za baada ya uchaguzi wa mwaka 2007 wakiongozwa na kinara wa chama cha Waipa Kalonzo Musyoka matakarua na aliyekuwa waziri Eugene Wamalwa viongozi hao wa upinzani waliohutubia waumini katika kanisa la AIPCA huko Ruwiru walisisitiza kwamba maandamano yataendelea kama ilivyopangwa huku akihimiza Wakenya kudumisha moja. Mwana habari wetu Gladys Mungai na mengi zaidi. Viongozi wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya leo walikita kambi katika eneo la Roiru kaunti ya Kiambu walipoadhimisha Jumapili ya mitende kabla ya maandamano makubwa yanayotarajiwa kufanyika hapo kesho siku ya Jumatatu. Na hii nchi yetu zote. Hakuna mtu ataweza kumuondoa mwenzake kwa hii nchi sababu ni nyumba yetu. Tukijua hivyo basi tuwe na ile utulivu wa kila mtu kusikisa mwenzake
kila mtu kuheshimu mwenzake na kila mtu kuheshimu haki ya mwenzake na haki ya kila mtu tukiwa wa Kenya sababu sio viongozi peke yake ingawa walikataza kupiga siasa wakihutubia waumini walitoa wito kuepo kwa mazungumzo na viongozi wa serikali badala ya kuharibika kwa uchumi wa taifa hili let us remember tumetoka wapi na tuziarudie makosa ambayo tunayaelewa kwa hivyo mimi mnisaidie sana ili on this palm sunday in effect ni kama what we have gone through as national leaders is within the spirit of spirit ya pasaka spirit ya lent so that we can be selfless kama bwana yesu alikuja mwisho akasulubiwa because of you and me who are we to complain tuweze kuombea nchi yetu vile wenzetu wamesema ningependa huo ujumbe pia ufikie wenzetu wa upande ule si ndio turenda tayu sio ndio tunataka sababu hata jana umekuwa kule kwetu kakamega wamekutumewakaribisha vizuri wameomba lakini kidogo wameongea siasa mbingi sana kwa kanisa kupitia kwa mitandao ya kijamii kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Odinga alisisitiza kwamba maandamano hapo kesho Jumatatu bado yaangalipo nikiripotia darubini wikendi naitwa Gladys Mongai na mtazamaji tisa ama tuseme kumi dakika zimekatika ndani ya saa moja jioni hii ya leo na tazama darubini wikendi nachukua pumziko mafupi lakini usiende mbali kunazo taarifa nyingi ambazo tumekuandalia ikiwemo taarifa moja ambayo inazungumzia kuhusu wale unaotangamana nao je unajua wako na uwezo wa kueleza ni jinsi maisha gani ama maisha yako ama ni mpondo upi maisha yako yatakavyochukua usiende mbali narudi na taarifa hiyo na mingi zaidi To get the pit as your skis are tuned, dial star 8397 hash. You may be in the pit. You do not see how you could get out. But the good news is that you do not have to get by yourself. The Most High God is about to lift you out. He's about to turn the medical report. He's about to free you. He's about to open new doors, bringing new opportunities, new relationships. The pit is not your destination. Get ready. To rise. To get the pit, dial star eight one one star three nine seven hash. Star eight one one star three nine seven hash. Hello. Hey there. You look beautiful. <laughs> well, you better be careful who you look at because you belong only to me. Well, the thing is, I can't stop looking at her because she's so beautiful. Amparo's in her room, right? No. I thought she came back. Yes, but she went out again. Oh, of course. And stupid Reynaldo just has to take it, right? Miguel! Come here. Ah, what's going on, Dad? That's my question to you. What were you doing in that fire? Trying to play the hero? Thank you so much for the compliment, Martha. Let go of my husband. Don't think you can take my husband away from me, you wench. Nam, karibu tena. Kundi la Kenya Media Sector Working limedai kuwa kuna njama ya kufunga vyombo vya habari na mitandao wakati wa maandamano ya hapo kesho ya muungano wa azimio. Hata hivyo kundi hilo limesema kuwa kujaribu kuzuia vyombo vya habari kutekeleza majukumu yake ni kinyume cha katiba. Mwana habari wetu Khalid Abdullahi anatueleza mengi zaidi. Waandishi wa habari wanaoripoti habari kuhusiana na maandamano ya muungano wa azimio wamekuwa kikabiliwa na wakati mgumu hasa wakati wa makabiliano baina ya maafisa wa polisi na waandamanaji kutokana na hali hii wadau katika sekta ya wanahabari wamekutana ili kujadili mikakati ya kuwalinda wanahabari kabla ya maandamano ya siku ya Jumatatu kundi mmoja maalum la wanahabari sasa linadai kuwa kuna mpango ya kuzima vyombo vya habari na mitandao kabla ya maandamano ya hapo kesho the government should not do anything that denies the free flow of information to the public 
We say this because we have received reports of plans to shut down the broadcast media and to shut down the internet and throw the country into information darkness ahead of tomorrow's demonstrations. Raisi wa chama cha wahariri hapa nchini Chachi Leotieno anadai kuwa hatua hiyo italitumbukiza taifa kwenye mchafuko. This would be most ill advised and a grievous assault on Kenya's democracy because it denies the Kenyan citizens and the Kenyan public their rights to information. From the media perspective, taking this route will sink us all as a country. We stand for an open, free and democratic society. A society where all can freely exercise the right to freedom of opinion and expression, including seeking, receiving and imparting information and ideas. This is, a fun this is fundamental for democracy and liberty. Amelaani mashambulizi dhidi ya wanahabari kwa kitaka uchunguzi kuanzishwa kuhusiana na swala hilo na wahusika kukamatwa na kufunguliwa mashtaka. Kongineko wa hariri wa picha za video nchini na televisheni kutoka vyombo mbalimbali vya habari nchini wameelezea wasiwasi wao kuhusu usalama wa wanahabari wakati wa maandamano ya siku za Jumatatu na Alhamisi. Katika taarifa ya pamoja, wanahabari hawa wanaitaka serikali ya Kenya na waandamanaji kuheshimu wanahabari wakidai kuwa picha zao zinatumika kwa maslahi ya umma. Kenyan media and their journalists have now come, come under new and growing attack. The situation is worsening in what appears as a campaign to cripple independent media and individual journalists through a combination of commercial, verbal and physical attacks. We call upon the government, the police, IG, IPOA, Media Complaints Commission and the Ministry of ICT and Digital Economy to take action before the situation deteriorates. Kutokea wiki iliyopita. Kwa hivyo e, tunawasi, tunaomba serikali e, tafadhali ingilieni waandishi wa habari wana uhuru katika ile kipengele ya 34 kufanya kazi yao e, bila uoga yote bila kuingiliwa. Halid Abdullahi Darubini weekend. Naam. Maelfu ya Wakristo kote nchini walikusanyika makanisani kuadhimisha Jumapili ya Matawi kabla ya sherehe za Pasaka huku viongozi wa kidini wakitoa wito wa amani na maridhiano wakati huu ambapo maandamano ya kupinga serikali yanaendelea jijini Nairobi askofu mkuu wa kanisa la Kianglikana hapa nchini Jackson Ole Sapit ametoa wito kwa viongozi wa kisiasa kuhimiza amani kwa ajili ya taifa hili Waumini wa Kikristo kote nchini waliungana na ulimwengu kuadhimisha Jumapili ya Matawi ambayo waadhimishwa ili kukumbuka kuingia kwa Yesu Kristo katika mji wa Yerusalemu. Waumini wa kanisa la Katoliki hapa nchini walianza siku kwa msafara wakibeba matawi kabla ya kuanza ibada. Yale matukio yote ambayo yatatukia katika juma hili yawe ni ya kutusaidia sisi wenyewe tukabadilishwa tukawa viube vipya. Lakini je, waumini wanafahamu maana halisi ya Jumapili hii? Kama tawi <laughs> ndio alitumika nao Israel so hapo sasa ndio Jerusalem so I don't know the real meaning. It shows that he's humble, you know. He's just humble and Yes, that's why he's called the Messiah. Sikuu pia na tuonyesha Yesu alipanda punda kuonyesha unyenyekevu wake kwa Kristo. Sasa hivyo sisi kama Wakristo tunajinyenyekeza mbele zake tukijiandaa katika hiki kipindi cha Kwaresmu. Kwenye ujumbe wake kwa umini askofu mkuu Philip Anyolo wa diocese kuu ya Nairobi alitoa wito wa kusimamisho kwa maandamano yanayoendelea ya kupinga serikali na mikutano ya maombi yanayoandaliwa mara kwa mara na serikali na viongozi wa kisiasa. Anyolo alisema mikutano hiyo inasababisha fujo. Tunavyoona katika mazungumzo ya viongozi wetu na Kenya ilivyo sasa ni kwamba kuna mgawanyiko mkubwa sana na huu mkawanyiko hatuelekezi mahala pazuri kama wananchi wa Kenya. 
Katika kanisa la All Saints Cathedral askofu mkuu Jackson Ole Sapit alitoa wito kwa waumini kukumbuka upendo wa Mola kwa binadamu na kujaliana miongoni mwa Kenya. And in the service today we were reminding ourselves the meaning of the word compassion is to serve with. So God came to serve with his creation where uh, us humanity have led it through sin into a path of self destruction. Ujumbe uliongwa mkono katika kanisa la St Anne Mudhure huko Kabete huko wa Kristo pia wakiadhimisha Jumapili ya Matawi. Na kaikia kwa hali ya utukufu na kwa hali kwa hali ya amani na kwa hali ya ubinafsi. Katika kaunti ya Narok kiongozi wa kanisa la AIPCA mjini Narok Benjamin Napasho alitoa wito wa amani hapa nchini na kuwataka wa Kenya kuiombea nchi hii. Tunapokuwa tukiwa katika hiyo safari ya kukumbuka kufufuka kwa Kristo Yesu kufa na kufufuka lazima tuchukue wakati wetu kuomba kwa sababu ya amani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa sababu ya nchi yetu, kwa sababu ya ya, ya familia zetu. Ruth Wamboi Darubini weekend. Haya, wakazi wa kijiji cha Naisha Munye, tarafa ya Waso, Samburu Mashariki, kaunti ya Samburu wanakadiria hasara kufuatia mvua kubwa ilionyesha katika eneo hilo uh, jana usiku zaidi ya familia 111 zimeathirika kutokana na mafuriko hayo. Akizungumza baada ya kuzuru familia zilizoathirika gavana wa eneo hilo Jonathan Lelelit alitoa wito kwa wakazi wanaoishi karibu na kingo za mito kuhamia maeneo salama. Haya najiri huku akihimiza serikali kuu na wahisani kuingilia kati na kusaidia familia hizo uh, zilizoathirika. Mwanahabari wetu Timothy Kip nusu anatupata snifu ya taarifa hiyo Hii ndiyo taswira kamili ya mafuriko katika kijiji cha Naisha Munye tarafa ya Waso eneo la Samburi Mashariki Mvua ya garika ilionyesha hapo jana usiku ilisababisha uharibifu mkubwa Kulingana na gavana wa eneo hilo Jonathan Lelelit zaidi ya familia moja na kumi na moja wakiwemo punda kondoo na mbuzi wameathirika kwenye mafuriko hayo maji kaweza kupelea kusomba wa, 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 wanyama wengi sana ambao hii mafamilia wanategemea wengi 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 hata manyumba ikaenda wanyama wakaenda na maji e, tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kuna mtu aliyeweza kwenda na maji tuliokuwa watu wote Calvin Lelemo York mwathiriwa kwenye tukio hilo la saa nane usiku anaelezea alivyojaribu kuokoa mali yake bila mafanikio amesema kwamba nyumba yao iliyo karibu na mto huu ilisombwa na maji kwa ilinyesha usiku na mfu, maji ikawa nyingi zaidi ikakuwa nyingi hadi mpaka ikafurika mali ikiwa e, ikiwa kwa ndani ya ya, ya, ya nini ya zoo mpaka ikachukua ika mbuzi ikachukua nyumba e, mpaka kama blangeti Viongozi wa eneo hilo waliozuru eneo hili walitoa wito kwa wisani kujitokeza kusaidia familia zilizoathirika ili kurejelea maisha yao ya kawaida. Uh, good Samaritans na watu wote Kenya waweze kuja kusaidia watu kama hawa. Because ni shota mikinyesha na wapate kusaidiwa mfugo itarudi na wataweza kujifit na wenyewe. So tunaomba watu wote wakuwe kama Red Cross waweze kusaidia wakati wa wakati. Na tunaomba wale wengine ambayo tunafanya kazi na wao ama Good Samaritan waendelee kuja kusaidia hii watu kwa sababu watu wamepoteza mali yao, wamepoteza mbuzi, e, punda na pia e, mali vitu sawa sa manyumba. Mshirikishi wa shirika la msalaba mwekundu katika eneo hilo alitahadharisha kwamba mvua itaendelea kunyesha huku akiwahimiza wakazi wanaoishi karibu na kingo za mto kuhamia maeneo salama alisema wanashirikiana na wadau wengine ikiwemo serikali za kaunti kwa ajili ya upatikanaji wa suluhu la kudumu kwa familia zilizoathirika and as Kenya Red Cross in partnership with the county government we heed the call to come and help the community of Samburu especially uh, those that were uh, affected by the current flash floods we are saying that the rains may continue to go on as a uh, Uh, said by the meteorological department so our caution is that people are living at the lowlands or near the river banks to move to the safer areas so that we may not lose more lives waache karibu na mamuto waende mahali ambayo ikinyesha tena watu wao Timothy Kipnosu 
darubini wikendi haya kinaya hicho cha samburu juzi ilikuwa ni, ma, ni uhali ya ukame sasa tunaona ni mafuriko Mbali na hayo ni kwamba licha ya kushtumiwa na kuondolewa mamlakani na viongozi wakuu wa kanisa la Methodist humu nchini askofu kiongozi wa kanisa hilo anayekabiliwa na utata Joseph Ntombura amesisitiza kuwa yungali mamlakani na kuwataja watu waliojaribu kuingia kwenye ofisi yake kimabavu kuwa wahalifu. Ntombura amesema madai ya baadhi ya viongozi wa kanisa hilo kwamba ameuza mali ya kanisa hayana msingi akiongeza kwamba lazima utaratibu uliowekwa uzingatiwe constitutionally and procedurally i am still in the office because what has been done is not uh, fair and it's a, a coup d'etat that is uh, not acceptable in terms of the world they have used a lot of force these are some of these people are capable of doing anything i mean they are leopards in the sheep's skin na mtazamaji kwenye taarifa niliyokuwa nimekudokezea pale awali ni kwamba je wajua kwamba upo jinsi ulivyo au vinginevyo kutegemea na unaotangamana nao Uh, tunakusimulia kisa cha James Kibe mwenye umri wa miaka mitano kutoka kijiji cha Kiambariki katika kaunti ya Nyandarwa aliyekombolewa kutoka kwa unywaji pombe na matumizi ya mihadarati ambaye walivi wenzake Nusra wachangie uh, kupoteza maisha na hata kazi yake. Mwanahabari wetu Ruth Wamboi anatusimulia kisa hicho kwa utendeti. Whenever you involve yourself in alcoholism, you, you can become sick in that uh, behavior. Like myself, I could do nothing without at least taking something in the morning. Lack of love, maybe in our families, maybe sometimes people could not, cannot understand you, like our wives at home. Sometimes do not understand uh, the person. So you lack love there, you go in those pub or other bad places to get love there, to, uh, or to stopping this behavior. You have to make up your mind. You have to to make a decision, understand the decision. Because anything that a man is is treated in a very funny way. We have been been given power by God to say no or to say yes. April. It is football made in Germany. Tuesday night, the 4th of April 2023, the DFB Pokal returns to the first quarter finals in Germany. FC Bayern Munich takes on SC Freiburg in a heavyweight clash at 9:45 p.m. Oh, what's the goalkeeper doing? And if there's one person you cannot give the ball to, it's the super sub. Wednesday, the 5th of April 2023, we'll see the defending champions RB Leipzig clash with on from Borussia Dortmund at 9.45 p.m. Here comes Riemann to get the ball away from danger. It falls Emre Can's way on halfway. Emre Can! That is it. 